Dan. Dylan. <laughs> God, man, we're here with Dan from Dots and Loops. One of my favorite channels. I've learned so much from you, and you've got like the most insane collection. It's amazing. Dude. So you know what? You learn from everybody in the VC. Like I learned from uh, you know Randy and Nico Malcolm and yourself and Rob and all all kinds of guys. Psychedelic, uh, Matt Sands, all those guys. Right. That's the one good thing about it is it's just people turning you on to stuff, right? Absolutely. You, you might be showing me stuff I've never seen before, which is exciting. So You know what? I got a few albums here. You know, I was thinking, because, uh, you know, I got back into it in like 99, probably, 98 is when I started. Like, I still had my vinyl. Like, I'm obviously, I'm, I'm older than you, but I, I still had my vinyl from the 80s. And then, of course, like everybody, I did the CDs thing, right? Yeah. That was the thing, right? In the 90s, did the CDs. But then in the early, late, like in the late 1990s, I did the Sundays reissues, right? And it was like this album, Bow Street Runners. You don't see it very often, but this is a good garage, kind of garage psych thing. I think yeah, they were out of, I don't know, they were out of some small state. I don't know if you know this one, but this is a good album. Yeah, I've got it on green vinyl. It's like, I think it's the Sundays. Yeah. Yeah. But it was good because Sundays was like one of those labels where when you wanted to get back, like when I started to get back into it, it was like my mind got blown by like that one in CA Quintet and all that stuff, right? Yeah. I mean, here it is, Dylan. I know you showed it on your top. Let's get it off the list right away, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's Thank it. You man. Billy Hurst. Yeah. Mega Grail. Um, like you were saying on your uh, video there, which was excellent. Reissue is tough to come by. Yeah. Like <laughs> that's Farm. Uh, was it 1971? Yeah, I think. Something like that. 71, and I think they were from, was it Illinois? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's killer, though, for sure. Billy Hurst, thanks, man. So how about some hard and heavy? You want to just burn through a few, and then you can say uh, whether you got them, what you think, and <laughs> we'll show the guys some. Yeah, man. This Bring is it. a Belgian. Have you shown this one before, this Irish coffee album? No, I don't have that one. I really need it. Yeah. It's killer. Absolutely killer. The, the of course reissue because the originals are like I think you're looking at three thousand, four thousand, I don't know, something stupid, right? Yeah. It's a good one though. Very, very sweet. Oh yeah. And, and then I know you have this one here, of course, but now that we're going through the hard and heavies. Yep. We'll yep. May, may blitz action. Essential. Essential. Oh god, you gotta have it. Hey, you gotta have it. It's a little beat, vertigo swirl, but. Yes. It's killer, though. That's that's another one that's... Well, you know, man. I, I know all your, your fans know. How about this one here? I think I showed it on the top. I took those videos down, eh? My, my top hard and heavy. I'll probably redo them, but... Do you know this one? I've seen it. I don't have it. Yeah, so the Socrates on the wings. These guys were uh, Greek, and they're like thunder gods, man. It is like shredded cheese, man. This guitar player is absolutely stupid. Man. <laughs> you got to get this one's good. Yeah. Killer. So hey, I got Howard going in the back here too. So if the cat jumps in, don't uh, don't mind him, man. That's all right. How about you? What have you picked up lately though for hard and heavy? I know you had your want list. There's a lot of hard and heavy on there, man. I don't know. I, I just I was gonna let you take care of the conversation, but I'll, I'll show you this one. I picked yeah. out a few that you might not show, but you probably have them. Oh. Uh, this is Bulbous Creation. Do you have this? One of my all-time faves, man, for a reissue. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is the original 1994 pressing. So um, yeah. these guys were 1971. Um, they were from out of some small town. I think they're from Illinois too. I can't remember. Anyways, yeah. but uh, yeah, they recorded this album in one day, and yeah. then they went, they went to go like try to get it pressed on vinyl. They were saving up money for it, and the lead singer left the band and said, "Screw y'all, I'm gonna go out solo." And I wrote those songs, so you can't have them. And so yeah. it screwed everything up. But this is the most, in 1994, this guy who was like a vinyl archivist, he yeah. found a copy of the tapes or the record, I'm not sure. And uh, he put it out on Rockadelic Records. But this is a just amazing, it just, oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. yeah, totally. You know what's funny about that album, actually, Dylan, is as much as, you know, because we're kind of freaks for this stuff, but. I actually didn't know that band. I bought it on a flyer. I bought it on a flyer in Seattle, the reissue. I didn't I didn't have a clue. And wow. when I brought it home, I was like, wow. Man, that cover, man, you can't oh. not buy that. 
You know, I love the back cover too, eh? Just with the skull and You Won't Remember Dying is the name of the album. And it is just it's got it's a, unreal. It's gotta be in my top fifty for sure. I love that yeah. album, man. Yeah, yeah. Keep them coming. What else you got there? Oh shoot. These, this, like I said, I just picked a few that I didn't know if you'd show yeah. them. Yeah. Oh, I love uh, this that is the one. JPT Scare Bands. I don't know um, that one. No. Oh my gosh, Dan, I can't <laughs> believe it. I have picked out one that you didn't know. Yeah, this is um kind of the same deal recorded in like 1974. Uh, yeah. This is like a, a guy, a garage band, just absolute insanity. Oh, uh, yeah. Crazy guitar solos. Um, and it's kind of the same deal. Somebody in the 90s picked it up and pressed it on vinyl for the first time. Uh, it doesn't like, so this out, this copy, it just has a generic white cover. Um, but they did like some screen printed covers that apparently over time have deteriorated. So I got this, um, I bought this one, it, the cover was gone, but the, the vinyl's still there and it's, man, that one is, nice. that one is smoking. After this video, you gotta, have, I'll be looking it up, man. Yeah. There's so many of them, eh? Some of those lost, uh, presses, private press, uh, yeah. you know, leases are just absolutely killer. Uh, the, uh, you show this one all the time, but I just love these guys too, eh? How'd you like an original of this one, eh? Oh man, I'd love to have that. Oh God. Like, I think you're, it's probably 1500 I guess, or two grand now. The thing about this album, you probably, I think you talked about it. What kind of blows me away is it was, it's a little later, eh? It's like 76, eh? Yeah. For Truth and Janie. Like, it's not, it's not in the pocket of like, mind you, they probably worked up a lot of the songs earlier on, but. Yeah. But, but it's, it's, you know, it's 76. I think it might have been a 77 release, but it's like. It's killer, killer. It's up there with, again, it's got to be a top 50 album for me. I've just been listening to this one. I found this still sealed. Oh, um, wow. It's their album, uh, Just a Little Bit of Magic. I don't know if you have that one. That one's really no. good, too. Is uh, that the one they put out afterwards? or? Um, I think this was early 80s. But, uh, yeah, yeah this, uh, it was still sealed when I found it. I was like, heck yeah. But that's a really good one, too. You can see the, uh, the, I'll just show it because it's kind of a cool cover. The, uh, you see the uh, American pressing quite a bit, but this is the original UK. Actually, I think it was actually Dutch pressing of the Ultimate Prophecy, J.D. Blackfoot. Yeah. Killer. Yeah. Killer. Second side is fantastic. First side is, I don't know, it's, it's okay. It's like country rock, right? Right. But the, the second side is that's a brain melter for sure. It's good, good stuff, man. I like that one a lot. Second side's great. The ultimate prophecy. Yeah. yeah. Gotta have it. Hey. Oh, yeah. That's gotta be one of my favorite, probably my one of my favorite covers, too, a eh? Hard Rock yeah. 7, Power Zeus. I man. love that one. I got, I got lucky with that one. The only other one I picked out, just because I knew you'd have so many, is a uh, no. classic you know this is a quintessential hard rock album i mean a lot of these albums yeah uh, let's be honest have like okay vocals but the guitar is just like so good yeah this one the vocals are so good and the guitar is so good the songs are so good this is like another one of those just perfect records this is morgan yeah. uh 1969 70 something like that yeah. uh on probe just one of my favorite records of all time is unbelievable, but I, I knew you probably were going to show that one, but um, no, you know, I, I wasn't, and I don't have the original. One thing I'll say about that album. Well, two things, I guess one is I think it's getting more and more collectible. Like I find the Morgan prices keep, keep going up. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. It's at least I, I, I see them going up from when I first started looking at it five or eight years ago or whatever. And the other thing I love about that album, Dylan is it is totally diverse. Like the first song to the second song to the third song you're getting, you're not just, you know, I love the straight ahead burners too, with lots of fuzz and heavy guitar, but that album's got some unique moves on it actually that make it more than just a standard sort of seventies hard rock album. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. If I'm showing my hard and heavy kind of grails. Oh yeah. Eh? I need that. I need it. It's uh, it's another one that's got some kind of it's got some psych moves on it, Euclid heavy equipment, but yeah. Which I guess I guess the band name was I guess Euclid. I, I didn't know this is kind of stupid, but that is the name of like a tractor company, hey? Euclid. Huh. Yeah, heavy equipment, Euclid. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I love this too, eh? When they're in the friggin' 
in the back of the tractor. The backhoe, man, is great. This is a this is a good one on the Flying Dutchman. Killer, killer stuff. Promo copy. Yeah, another one that the prices kind of creep up on. It's pretty tough to come by, but it, it's it's pretty sweet for sure. What else you got there? Well, we were talking about this one, little Yesterday's Children, Map City. Yeah, this one here. If you don't have, do you have this one? Human Instinct. Uh, I I have a reissue. Um, oh. But actually, I'll, I'll, I'll bring you over here real quick. Um, yeah. I've got, so I just got this. It's a box set of all the, uh, all the Human Instinct albums. Nice. It's got pins in it, stone guitar, burning up years. Um, so that's one I just got. Uh, nice. But yeah, I got a bunch of the hard and heavy stuff here. Uh, you know, War Horse. Awesome. War Horse, May Blitz. Yeah. Uh, that's Nucleus. That's the 2nd of May. Nice. Uh, Aphrodite's Child. Yeah. This is all my Vertigo stuff. Pato. Yeah. Gravy Train. Sweet. Uh, yeah. Coliseum. Coliseum. Good. I don't know. Yeah. Hard Meat. Stuff like I that. I like that so, Hard Meat album. Actually, it's a good album. Yeah. So, I didn't, I didn't pull any of those out because I figured you'd cover them. But, uh, but yeah. <laughs> we'll see if we have time at the end. I might pull some things out. Uh, I love it, man. But yeah, this stone guitar. Yeah, that's incredible. Holy moly. And I guess when you when you get this album, if you get so this is an original, I guess it's almost impossible not to get it with this cover not sort of beat because it's like this paper, one of those kind of cheapy paper covers that always got sort of water damaged and kind of warpy. This one's actually not too bad considering some of the ones I've seen that are they're they're usually just crumbling, eh? They're usually just falling yeah. off sort of thing but yeah that's another they're all killer man they're all killer it's a canadian press original canadian press the the green at god yeah man yeah holy it's moly not... that's a great one i need i need that one i almost bought one of those about yeah. six months ago and i did it because i was opening the shop but yeah that's a that's a killer one yeah it's uh well I've, so the canadian press was it's quite a bit uh more affordable than the the original press, uh, which is like, again, you're you're talking about fifteen hundred or two grand or something, and these are pricey yeah. as it is, right? But this yeah. is yeah, this is killer because it's got like sax on it, saxophone and stuff, but it's still got some just burning guitar. It's a pretty freaked out album, actually. It's a really good one too. So uh, it's a good it's kind of like Sweden's answer to Led Zeppelin, eh? Yeah. yeah. You know these guys too, of course. Mm-hmm. I need that one. I don't have it. I like to get their second. Their second is equally as good as this one, but I got this off a guy to show. I had to trade him a few albums on the Sonnet label, and I had to check with our friend Nico Malcolm, who uh, assured me that it wasn't a uh, reissue because it's a bit, you know, sometimes with these ones you get a little weirded out too because if you start paying up a little bit, you're like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Which one's yeah. counterfeit? Well, like the one you showed, I guess I guess that Randy Holden album, which is pretty sad for Randy. I guess that Population 2 is one of the most counterfeit albums out there, right? Eh? Yeah, it really is. There's, uh, there, I've seen even uh, some people even try to mimic the drill hole because uh, there's really? a reissue that's a bootleg that's like an 80s bootleg that has the spot where you can see where it was drilled. And I've seen that some people have actually tried to recreate that drill hole. with the, I mean, that's crazy. Yeah, but, it, um, you know, that's a, that's an impossible album to find, but yeah. But what you know, what's bothersome about that too is like I'm not like there's some guys like you know Randy yourself, you know, or Nickel Mal. There's other guys that know lots more about the labels and the Matrix. I mean, I follow Discogs and you you try and do the best you can, but you know what? Sometimes it's like I'm not you know I'm not uh, able to discern is this a counterfeit or isn't this a counterfeit? And when you're spending you know, any any kind of money is a lot of money. Whether you spend twenty bucks or two hundred bucks, it all depends on what you have, right? But it uh, it gets a little freaky, right? You're like, I don't want to get, I don't want to be out of pocket. I don't want to, you know, get ripped off. I want to enjoy the music first and foremost, but you also don't want to end up dishing out two or three hundred dollars for an album that is a, a counterfeit, man. That's brutal, absolutely brutal. Yeah, which sure. it happens, right? But yeah, I don't want it to happen, man. <laughs> What else you got there? I was going to show this one just because. Oh, yeah, man. That's a great one. You never see that one, but I have that one. That's great. This this album here, I'm going to go on record. I'm going to say this is probably my, I would say, my one of my favorite. Of course, it's always hard. 
kind of unheralded 70, 70s hard one help. Yeah. Second coming. Their first album's not that great, but this one is the monster. Yeah. Man. It's good. Although it doesn't command mega high prices online, it's still a rare album, I think. Yeah, like 40, 50 bucks, something like that, right? And that's a good one to get into if you want to sort of be in that range of, okay, I want to get some more harder, heavier stuff from the 70s, but I don't want it to show 200 bucks, right? Right. You know, that's a that's a good one, as is this one. I think I've, I've shown, you know, their first is great. Blood Rock's first. Yeah. You can, yeah. You can get it. I find their, you know, their second, third, fourth, whatever, easier, obviously, to come by. But this one's great. It's great. On a great capital label, you can get it for, I don't know, like 20 bucks or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah, is for sure. Which is kind of nice because, you know, I don't always, it's not always about like showing the two or $300 or $500 hard rock album, man. There's some good stuff that you can pick up for whatever, 20, 30 bucks that's heavy. Yeah. And then I know because it was on your want list, man. <laughs> I got to have it, man. Yeah. Next time you find one, grab it for me. I will, pal. You're a magnet for this stuff. It's unbelievable. But I, I agree with you. The cover, everything about it. I like frogs too, man. And you know what? It's it's, I'm, I'm it's a... solid all the way through for sure. It's it's a gooder. Absolutely. Yeah. Joe. Yeah, I like that one a lot. I like that one a lot. When I got that one, I actually got that one and the Human Instinct album off the same guy. And I don't know about you, but sometimes I search out these guys where you can bundle up. Mm -hmm. You know, it just makes it easier if you can bundle up and get a discount on some of that stuff. Because if you're going to pay up, it's like try and, yeah. try and get two or three at a time and knock a, knock a, few, knock a few shekels off, man, because it can get kind of pricey. They can. Hey? <laughs> yeah. Here. But should I show a few more, brother? Dude, show as many as you want. A little landslide action? Yeah. Kind of unheralded, too. It's a good one, though, too. Nice burner. You know, the one I want, actually, Dylan, thinking about this album, is, which is a very good album, uh, Landslide Two-Sided Fantasy, is, uh, do you know that band, uh, I think it's Head Over Heels? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you, I don't know if you have, do you have that one? Yeah, I just got it. I got it, okay. like, um, a month or two ago. Someone oh, brought yeah. it in. A friend of mine brought it in. He's like, you got to check this out. And yeah. I was like, and he's like, doesn't look good, does it? I'm like, it doesn't look that great. We put it on. I was like, holy moly, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. Love. So this one reminds me of that Head Over Heels band a little bit, but uh, Head Over Heels is an album that's on my want list too. That's a that's a very good album. Yeah, I wish I knew where I put it. It's somewhere around here. <laughs> no, that's, yeah, it's all good. The uh, how about uh, Granicus? Oh yeah. The the only I love I love that album. The lead singer sounds like Getty Lee on that album. Yeah, yeah, it's, I don't have it. That's nice. So good. You can pick it up. You know, what do you think on that one? It's probably about what seventy five, maybe. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So it's not nice. Yeah. Ancient Greece. Ancient Greece yeah. Uh, so if you're starting and you're going, okay, twenty bucks, Blood Rock. You know, then you want to go up 40 or 50. This is one you can kind of get for 50 bucks, I think, maybe still. Maybe yeah. a little more. Mm -hmm. Road. Yeah. Mo Redding, eh? That's a great one, yeah. Another sort of under under the radar, hard and heavy 70s one. Yeah, I love that one. I do too. I'm not a, I'm not a huge Fat Mattress fan. No, I don't, I don't like them at all, really. <laughs> I don't know. I don't care for that album, but, but this yeah. one. Yeah, that is. Well, I saw you just pulled some. What'd you pull down there, man? I'm salivating. What do you got there? <laughs> oh, this is T2. Okay. It'll I'll be okay. I'm, and uh, Boomland. That's a great one. Holy moly, that's a good one. Um, good. Frantic Conception. I love that album. There's two, oh, so three tracks on there that are just monsters, man. Oh man. That's a great. Cover. Oh yeah. Blues Creation, Demon Love Children. Essential. Holy moly. Essential. Yeah. That one and uh, if that's they're Japanese, right? Uh, yeah, they're Japanese. Yeah. The other band did, that I, I need to get is uh, Strawberry Path. I don't know if you know that one. It's oh. it's another hard and heavy Japanese band, but it's uh, there's so it, many man. I know. Satori. This is original yep. Japanese press. I wish I had the Obi, but I don't. 
That's a great oh. flower traveling band. To even have it is killer. Absolutely killer. I know. It's like and a then, wild howl. Yeah. Yesterday's Children. It's a nice wild copy, Pony. too. Oh, yeah, it is killer. Joseph Stone Aged Man. Beautiful. <laughs> and Beautiful. The 50 Foot Hose. Nice. On the limelight. Yeah. So I just picked that. I knew there was like a cube of it, and I was just like, grabbed it. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna we'll go, we'll go quick flashes here. Yeah. Ban Absolutely killer. Banshee thinking their second, unlike their first, which is kind of like it's a good psychedelic album, but their right. second is a freaking absolute burner, man. Dra Dragonfly original. I love that record. Yeah. Dragonfly on the mega phone. Yeah, it's awesome. This one's you can find this one fairly affordably. Stark naked. That's great, yeah. Uh, underrated. That's another $30 album you can find. Mm -hmm. My yeah, favorite yeah. of the post them albums. I, w I would never sleep on them in reality, man. It's it's a, a crusher, absolute crusher. Here, I got a few more for you. If we're doing quick show and tell, you gotta do <laughs> you gotta do Parish Hall, man. Oh yeah. Power Trio on Fantasy. Oh yeah absolutely liquefy your brain all you need to do is turn that on turn it loud and just blow all the covid molecules out of there man how about a little atomic rooster mm -hmm. this is a nickel malcolm special right here man the human beast oh yeah <laughs> i love that one holy oh, moly the human beast man yes. if you want the originals again you're gonna have to pay up just look at that cover eh? yeah i guess they Brand. They did it in a day, like a lot of these guys. Yeah. And then, dude, we got to hit you from our friends down under. Yeah, yeah, I love that one, dude. I just got, I just got a reissue of that, but oh, it's so good. Yeah. Volcanic rock, forget about it. That, yeah. Mm, that one. Look that up. That's so good. If you haven't heard it. Um, Volcanic yeah. rock it is good. Yeah. What do you got there, man? I saw you pulled the stack. Show me something. Uh, I think you have an. Do you have an original of this? No, you know who has an original of that is uh, uh, Zeke. Yeah. Von Geek got it from a little VCLT from our man Jay Vinyl in the van. Sent him that if you can believe that's, that. That's crazy. That's nuts. So this is the moving side. Uh, flash yeah. for moving sidewalks. This is uh, Billy Gibbons early before ZZ Top. Man, that is just oh, killer. That's great. Are you kidding me? Uh, Heavy Cruiser. Love phenomenal. it. Absolutely love um, it. Man. You said Neil Atomic Merritt. Rooster. In the hearing. Essential. Uh, dust, heart attack. I, you know what? Controversial comment. I prefer their second to their first. Most people like the first better. I like that one better, but it's, they're both it's, excellent. It's, it's good. Yeah. Pain, pound of flesh. Never seen it. Never even seen a copy before. Yeah, I got this one for 10 bucks. That's stupid. I know. <laughs> Bob oh. Smith, a visit. Yeah. That's yeah. a great one. That is and then there's spooky. There it is. Rare and Earth. And uh, I don't know why this is with it, but. <laughs> I'm riding the lightning, man. That's a good album. That's good, man. I think we'll hit you back with a little reissue of The Dark out of the UK. Yeah. I think they made, what, I don't know, 60 copies? One of the more expensive albums in the world, if you find an original. How much is an original? I remember. I've seen them, but. Oh, like they're 15 grand, I think. That's insane. 15, 20 oh. grand. I think this was in my top five. If it's not, it should be. And that's the Tiger Rock, Tiger Beast uh -huh. Smith, man. Not to be confused with We're the Tiger Bunch. This is the first one, right, on Vertigo. I don't know what to say about this one other than if this, if you, the Desert Island album, really, if you got to break it down to just having one or, or two albums in your collection, that might be one of them. That's how good that is. And you know what? Yeah. It's timely because that's Joe Exotic on the cover right there, man. It is 100%. <laughs> Yeah, I uh, that, oh, that almost made my top ten. That almost made my top ten. I need that. Oh, uh, I showed this one before, but uh, yeah, smoking. They reissued this one, eh? This Wildfire album. Yeah. This is Randy Love, Mike Love's brother, was in this band. Great, great burner, man. I need that one. Maypole, Twin Guitar Attack, solid album as well. Very, very good on Colossus. Yeah. Huh? There's a few more for you, my friend. Keep them coming. You know what? I can just turn it up, and we could just keep this going all night. What else we got here? 
show a few more. Oh, here's a psych album. Dr. Hooker, you know that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's stupid, dude. It's kind of a Christian folk, folk whacked out kind of. It's good, though. And you know what? Because you showed Ride the Lightning. Yeah. Here you go. This got in the bunch right here. There it is. There you go. <laughs> How about Salem Mass? Oh, yeah, I've got that. That's great. That's great. I almost got an original, almost bought an original off somebody, but it had a little hairline crack in it. Oh, no. Which kind of freaked me out. Okay, you're up. What do you got there, brother? I wasn't planning on pulling anything out. Oh! You have that one? I sold it. Oh, man, this is a reissue. I, the one I had was pretty trash, but it's it's great, though. Yeah, it's Hulk great. Unchained. Yeah. Um, Bare Soul Flash. Don't know it. Yeah, that's a great one. Um, I don't know it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice. Uh, what do you got? That's a... Uh, it's called Dragon on Acorn Records. It's more of a prog, but it's still really good. But uh, go for it. Out of uh, Portland, Oregon, covers a bit hard to see. It's kind of a crappy reissue on Now now Again, but I uh, was a little disappointed with the pressing. But anyway, strictly from Hunger, Hunger is the band out of Oregon. Killer kind of garage, heavy rock. Got to give a shout out to my buddy Randy at Dead Wax. If I had to pick an album and it wasn't in my Holy Grails, Dylan, though, that I would love an original of, this has got to top the list. Andromeda out of the UK. You don't see it very much at all. It's sort of a hard rock progressive thing from 1969. Came out on RCA. Uh, highest Dots and Loops recommendation right there, man. Unbelievable kind of prog rock. I don't know. I got this thing out here just because it's always good if you can show I like Tangerine Zoo, man. I like the Tangerine Zoo as well. Yeah. Now we're just flashing albums, man, but what the hell? Sapphire Thinkers? Yeah. Okay, so oh, it's good. It's very good. Here's a band coming up, and these albums, every time I work a show, I swear to God, if they are if they don't come up and ask for this band, they always do, every time. Yeah. Eh? They're, they're great. So, I know, but they're, hard to, they're getting harder to find. Eh? You ever have any come in the shop or... Uh, here and there, um, I've got, I've got a, I, I think I have all their albums that I really like. Do you? Yeah, yeah, they're great. The early ones. The early ones are. Yeah. Right up until what's the one with uh, the cat on the cover? Uh, yeah. It, uh, um, impeccable or whatever it is. I can't remember what it's called, but right up until then is about what you want, I think, for that band, eh? The Squawk is the best. Oh man. Oh, no, Squawk is. And, uh. Show me one more stack, man. What do you got? Oh, this is Budgie. Uh, I got my squawk somewhere. I don't know where it's at. Oh, um, high tide. Oh, yeah, high tide. That's, that's a Sunday's reissue. I need a new one. Um, let's oh, see. That's a finished guitarist there. That guy. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Free up. That's great. Yeah. Oh, Lord. This is just random stuff. Like, I need to put this crap oh, on this What did you say? I said you got Neil Merriweather there, I saw. Oh, yeah. That's Dude, great. Space yeah. Ranger. Love them. Uh, you have this, Pugly Munion? I don't. I know it. This is great. This is uh, just like you, Pugly Munion. These are like teenagers in high yeah, school. Yeah, just kids, right? Oh, That's... man, it's so good. Blues rock. Really you, can pick, you can pick that one up for not a bad price, eh? But it's still, all this stuff is pretty pricey, let's be honest. I'll give you just I'll give you one more flash, one more stack, and then we'll we'll say goodnight just because I know oh, it's getting late and I'm a little late jumping on. Here we go. Chopping Mall, 1980 soundtrack. Horror film. Hard to find on reissue, man. But back know that. back, back to the heavy site. Gotta have it. Ultimate spinach, behold and see. Creeping up in price, eh? Really? Huh. I think so. Neighborhood children. Yeah. Yeah. In the shrinky, original copy. Beautiful. Great West Coast. By far my favorite album by them. This first friend, their first. Great cover, too. Great cover. Yeah! Do it up. Duel. Lucifer's friend. Weird. I don't know if you, you don't see this one too often. Kind of a psych oddity. I know my friend Psychoderic knows this one, too. I think he's got this one. 32,000 heavy balloon. 
weird sight, heavy rock kind of thing. This was a long time want. Finally picked it up. Yeah, listen. I need that, man. I need it. Oh, it's good. There's some good tracks on there. Another one you can get for the harder stuff that's kind of affordable, Dylan. You've probably seen this one many a time, but hard stuff. Yeah. Speaking of Atomic Rooster, but that's a good or two, man. All right, buddy. What else you got there? Anything else? I said I wasn't going to pull anything else, but. We got warmed up, and then we just started. they just started flying, man. Man, holy moly. So this one I know you like. <laughs> And well, I don't know what to call it. I don't know how to say it. Like it man. Oh, like, yeah, I got that one. It's good. It's Crow Rock thing, hey? Yeah. How do you pronounce that? What do you... I don't know. Our dear bonds Uranus. Yeah, I don't know. Do you read the liner notes, too? They're weird. They got... They sort of barely got recorded in a day or something. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. It's out there, though. Yeah, the other one is Ten House. Don't have it. Love to have it, though. But yeah, that that last one though, this one I cannot recommend this enough. This is unbelievable. Oh, great it's insanity! Holy I think moly! They were young too, eh, Dylan? I don't think they were real old. The kid, they were all kids, mind you. Like a lot of them were kids back then, right? When they made yeah. the, there's a little more psych. We got a little bit of head shop, original head shop psych. First track on this album might be my favorite all time heavy psych track. Oh, yeah. All Ends Up Tractor on the Dandelion label, John Peel. If we're showing the heavy hitters, you got to show CAC. <laughs> I need it. I need that one, too, man. You know what? You do. Me. Yeah. And then I got to give a shout-out to Brandon, Mr. Hall of Fame. The guy called me up, said, oh, I just saw this record. And then he turned around and bought it for me to lift. <laughs> $100 fine, original $100 fine to litter. Yeah, it was stupid. He went back to the store and picked it up. I was like, what? <laughs> On the hex, yeah, I was just like, dude, what a guy, Mr. Hall of Fame. He's a BC elder. He's a he's a champ. There it is. There it is. Don't have it. Love to have it. It's one of the budgie ones that's eluded me. This one is uh, French or UK. I can't remember. But um, killer, killer. Yeah, the early UFO stuff's killer. Love it. Uh, this one, this is a South American one. It's called Triana. Don't know it. So good. Triana, T R I A N A. Yeah. Uh, Check it out. Rain ticket. One of the classics. I'm just going through random stuff here, but uh. I like it, man. It's show, good. Show us, show us a couple more, and we'll call it a night. All right, buddy. I got a few more here. You know what? The guy in town here turned me on to this one about 15, 20 years ago. It's a Crow Rock thing, too. Malesh Agitation Free. Yeah, Anything yeah. on this Amber Sound Room label is killer, and that is no exception, man. It is absolutely killer. I haven't shown this band. We're showing Hard and Heavy. Oh, yeah. I, I need that. Yeah, the second one, great. Blind yeah, egg. it's good. It's very good. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Stupid. Got to show my copy of Liquid Smoke. Yes. A little bit of Psych. That one's going out to Nico as well as you, my friend. Thanks for having me on, man. This is fun. Oh, this is fun. And I got, I, to dig, I got to dig through stuff that I haven't been able to show in a while. Yeah, I want to reiterate. We're, we're Oh, it's so good. That's the exact same pressing I have. Just finish on that one right there. That's all you got to do, man. That's what we'll do. But listen, everyone hey, watching this, we're blazing through this stuff. Every one of these albums are phenomenal. You got to look up all of them. They're all good. Uh that's too much fun, man. I enjoyed that. Well, yeah, I guess we could have taken a little more time on the albums, but you know what? You get going. We we built up to a crescendo, man. We started slow, and then they just started flying. <laughs> yeah, for sure, man. Well, um, you I appreciate got, the well, time, we man. We'll, we'll do it again sometime. I hope we do do it again, and I hope to come down and see the store. I'm going to get in the car. I'm going to drive down there and freaking uh, load up and come on back, but I'm glad things are going well. I wish you continued luck with the store, man. You're, you're a great guy. you got a great channel. I love watching it, so... Thank you, man. And everyone, go, go. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. Go follow or subscribe to Dan. He's He's got a far better collection than me. He's unbelievable. So, Not at all. I appreciate you taking the time, brother. And uh, best of luck. Stay safe out there. We'll get through this, too. Thank you, man. I'll see you. Yeah. Great to see you. Take care.